by far the best mac and cheese recipe with the gooey cheesy macaronis topped with crispy cheesy top which can be enjoyed by kids and adults assalamu alaikum and welcome back to morvish cuisine without further ado let's go and check out this recipe so let's start the recipe bismillah first i am boiling macaroni until it's slightly undercooked then drain the macaroni and transfer it onto a bowl here i'm just using the bowl which i'll be later using in the recipe to serve adding butter and then toss the butter well until it's completely melted then put this on the side we'll go and make our cheese sauce now in a big pot i am melting some butter and we'll add some minced garlic cook garlic for like a minute or two until garlic is cooked and then adding all purpose flour in there cook flour until it changes its color and fragrance now slowly and gradually add liquid it's a mixture of a uh, half and half and cream you can substitute it with the milk as well keep on stirring until flour is completely mixed through now it's time to add cheese please remember use freshly grated cheese for the best mac and cheese recipe here i have um, cheddar uh, colby jack and mozzarella if you have white cheddar please use that as well when flour is completely um, mixed it's time to add cheese one cup at a time i i already saved some cheese for the topping and here i'm adding one cup at a time until cheese are completely melted and mix through and here you can check the stringy cheesy sauce now switch off the flame and i have um cream cheese which is on room temperature i'll add that and mix until cream cheese is completely melted as well time to season our sauce i'm adding garlic powder onion powder paprika powder or a chili powder black pepper powder and a little bit of salt mix well and now we take all the sauce and pour onto our boiled macaroni now toss the macaroni with this uh, sauce uh, today here i'm using 13 by 9 inch uh, pan and i will be baking my uh, mac and cheese in the same pan now top it off with the remaining cheese which we saved and my oven is already preheated on 450 degrees i'll put this in the oven for 15 minutes until it's bubbly then open up the broiler and broil it for five minutes for a crispy cheesy top today i'm serving some uh, chicken cutlets uh, on the side as well so let's go and check that what I, how i'm making the chicken cutlets here i have boneless chicken pie pieces and i am adding some salt uh, crushed red pepper um, black pepper powder garlic powder and onion powder with a little bit of olive oil toss everything very well and you can leave it for marinade for like let's say 20 to 30 minutes and then uh, you can coat it with egg or flour breading hi today i am just uh, adding uh, store-bought um, breadcrumbs and just cover it and then i will air fry them you can pan fry them as well or you can bake them as well my air fry is preheated on 380 degrees i'll just spray the chicken pieces and then leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes until chicken cutlets are completely cooked and crispier from the top so here is my mac and cheese with side salad and side of chicken cutlets to enjoy and make it a complete meal and if you're trying this recipe at home please let me know how it turned out with you if you want to learn something else let me know leave me a comment down below and i will try my best to make it happen for you guys once again thank you so much for watching and if you like this recipe don't forget to click on the links to enjoy a lot more recipes like this